dear students today we are going to discuss about the topic capacitors capacitors okay so initially we need to discuss about what is capacitor what is capacitor capacitor is a electronic device which can stores the charge in terms of electric field is called capacitor once again i am saying capacitor is a electronic device what is the use of it it can stores the electric charge in terms of electric field okay so the capacitance of capacitor is denoted with c here c is the capacitance of capacitor so what is the formula for capacitor the formula for capacitor c equal to q by v here q is the electric charge v is the electric potential so capacitance of capacitor c equal to potential by charge by potential what is the unit for capacitance c for charge the unit for charge is coulomb and the what is the unit for potential the unit for potential is volts so directly we can take it as c by v r farad farad here farad is the unit of capacitor capacitance of capacitor c c equal to q by v already we know that what is the potential the potential is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q1 by r square this is the potential okay i am just substituting the value of potential in the capacitance of capacitor see here c equal to q by v in place of v in place of v i am substituting this value how much it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q by r square here q q will be cancelled if the any fraction in denominator then we need to write reciprocal of it the fraction will reciprocal here 1 by 4 pi epsilon not r square is there at the denominator okay then what is the reciprocal of it 4 pi epsilon not r square so finally c equal to 4 pi epsilon not r square we got this is the capacitance of isolated conductive capacitor this is the capacitance of isolated conducting capacitor okay next uh, we will discuss about parallel plate capacitor this is the most important for neat what is parallel plate capacitor and what is the symbol of the parallel plate capacitor c parallel plate capacitor c parallel plate capacitor the symbol of parallel plate capacitor is like this c those two are the parallel plates and they are in parallel only okay so one is positive plate and another one is negative plate here i have taken two parallel plates one is positive and another one is negative 
the distance between those two parallel plates is d the distance between those two parallel plate is d okay already i told you that what is the capacitor capacitor is a electronic device which can stores the charge in terms of electric field this is the capacitor in between these two plates air or vacuum here it is i have taken air or vacuum okay charge can stores in terms of electric field in between in those two parallel plates here exactly in this position the charge the charge stores in terms of electric field here what is the electric field sigma by epsilon not the electric field is sigma by epsilon not here epsilon not is a permittivity of free space and sigma is a and area of surface charge density the value of the sigma is sigma equal to q by a sigma equal to q by a okay the charge can stores in terms of electric field that to e equal to sigma by epsilon not here what i am going to find i am going to find the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor this is the parallel plate capacitor we want to find the capacitance of this capacitor whatever capacitor it is either it is parallel plate or cylindrical or spherical whatever capacitor is there the formula is only one what is that c equal to q by v that's it c equal to q by v here we can't change the q this is a charge okay we can change the potential how see already i told you that the charge can stores in in terms of electric field in between those two plates what e equal to sigma by epsilon not okay but here we require potential we require what potential but we know only electric field so that what is the relationship between electric potential and electric field the relation between electric potential and electric field is v equal to ed v equal to ed it is the relation between the potential and electric field in formula what we required we required potential so that v equal to what is the e already i told you that e is nothing but sigma by epsilon not into d what is the sigma sigma is q by a surface charge density we can call it as surface charge density in place of sigma if you substitute q by a then qd by a epsilon not we got this is the potential this is what potential so we need to substitute the value of potential at here c c equal to q by what about v q d by a epsilon not q d by a epsilon not d d will cancel the same thing if if any fraction in denominator it will get reciprocal of it so q by a epsilon not is there no then what is the reciprocal of it a epsilon not by d this is the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor which is filled with air or vacuum which is filled with air or vacuum okay c equal to a epsilon not by d okay if the parallel plate which is filled with dielectric in place of air or vacuum if you take the dielectric then what is the capacitance of this uh, that capacitor we'll discuss
Just see. Parallel plate capacitor, which is filled with dielectric. Okay. See. Parallel plate capacitor. Those two are the parallel plates. One is positive and another one is negative. Okay, this is a positive charge and this is a negative charge and those two plates are placed at the distance between them is D. In previous case, we have taken air or vacuum in between those two plates, but here we are taking dielectric in this empty place. It has dielectric. Dielectric is nothing but it is one of the medium. It's another topic. Okay. See, dielectric ha has some dielectric constant. It is denoted with K. Dielectric has some dielectric constant K. Okay. So, the same thing, same again I am saying capacitor is a electronic device which can store the electric charge in terms of electric field yes no here in place of electric field sigma by k epsilon naught i am taking in previous case i have taken e equal to sigma by epsilon naught but here it is i am taking e equal to sigma by k epsilon naught why i am taking k why because here the parallel plate capacitor filled with dielectric so that we need to take the k okay so electric field e equal to sigma by k epsilon naught okay finally what we are going to do we are going to find the, the same capacitance of parallel plate capacitor filled with dielectric it is filled with dielectric already i told you that Whatever capacitor it is, the formula is C equal to Q by V only. Here also Q never change. We need to change the only potential. What is the potential? V. Already we know that. What is the relation between V and E? In previous, co uh, in previous case only we discussed, no? V equal to ED. This is a relationship between potential and electric field. Here, V equal to, in place of E, I am taking sigma by K epsilon naught. Okay? Sigma by K epsilon naught into D. Already we know that. What is the sigma? Sigma equal to Q by A surface charge density it is called okay so in place of sigma i am substituting q by a then q d by a k epsilon naught okay finally we got the potential how much v equal to q d by a k epsilon naught here same we need to substitute those value here q by what is the v qd by a k epsilon naught same thing we need to take the reciprocal which we have already taken in previous case q q cancel finally a k epsilon naught by d this is the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor which is filled with dielectric in previous case, capacitance of capacitor which is filled with air. Okay. We will discuss the difference and the relationship between those two parallel plate capacitor which is filled with air and which is filled with dielectric constant K. See, already we know the formula C equal to A epsilon naught by D. This is what 
कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ कैपेसिटर विच इज फील्ड विथ एयर और वैक्यूम एयर और वैक्यूम ओके एंड अगेन सी डैश इक्वल टू के ये एप्सलॉन नॉट बाय डी दिस इज व्हाट कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ पैरेलल प्लेट कैपेसिटर विच इज फील्ड विथ डायलैक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट के ओके वॉट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन देम यू जे सी सी इक्वल टू के ए एप्सलॉन नॉट बाई डी आई एम राइटिंग इट एज ए एप्सलॉन नॉट डी इन टू के सेम नो द के एक्चुअली इट इज एट लेफ्ट साइड आई हैव टेकन इट इज एज राइट साइड नो डिफरेंस एट ऑल सो इन प्लेस ऑफ ए एप्सलॉन नॉट बाई डी इन प्लेस ऑफ दट वी कैन टेक वॉट सी सी के This is the relation between capacitance of parallel plate capacitor, which is filled with medium and which is filled with air. Okay. In first case, the capacitor filled with air. In second case, the capacitor filled with dielectric constant or dielectric medium. In third case, if the capacitor is partially filled with dielectric means partially filled with dielectric and remaining will filled with air then what is the new capacitance of it we will discuss right now itself see parallel plate capacitor parallel plate capacitor which is partially partially filled with dielectric this is the most important concept for neat in previous two concepts are also important but this is more important than that of that okay see parallel plate capacitor partially filled with dielectric see i am taking parallel plate capacitor those two plates are in parallel one of the plate is positively charged and another plate is negatively charged the same the distance between those two plates are is d okay so here it is not completely filled with air and it is not completely filled with dielectric medium it is partially filled with air and partially filled with dielectric like how see only this part is filled with dielectric this is a dielectric and remaining this one is air and uh, this one is also air the distance between two plates are d and uh, the thickness of the air is i am taking it is as d1 and uh, this is d2 and it is uh, thickness of the dielectric is t thickness of the dielectric is d by seeing we can say that the total d is equal to d1 plus t plus d2 the total d equal to d1 plus d2 plus t however we will take same only okay here also what we are going to find we are going to find the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor what is the formula for that c equal to q by v same C equal to Q by V. Here also same Q. We can't change. What is the potential? We need to find the potential. What is the relationship between potential and electric charge? V equal to E D. Here you need to observe that 
d1 of distance it is filled with air as well as d2 of distance it is filled with air remaining t of distance it is filled with dielectric so that here the charge can store in terms of electric field it is air no so that i am taking sigma by epsilon naught it is also air so that i am taking sigma by epsilon naught in dielectric we need to take e3 equal to sigma by k epsilon naught why we are taking k because of it is a dielectric medium so that we need to take the k okay see v equal to ed from this v equal to how many e's are there how many electric fields are there e1 e2 e3 so that e1 what is our formula ed e1 how much distance d1 so that e1 d1 plus e2 d2 plus e3 t okay see what is the e1 sigma by epsilon naught so sigma d1 by epsilon naught plus what about e2 again sigma by epsilon naught here it is d2 though so sigma d2 by epsilon naught what about e3 which is filled with dielectric sigma by k epsilon naught so sigma t by k epsilon naught okay in all of them i am taking sigma by epsilon naught as common here it is d1 plus d2 plus here t by k is there see from this d equal to d1 plus d2 plus t from this d1 plus d2 equal to d minus t this t will go this left side what will happen the plus t becomes minus if it is going through lhs side okay d1 plus d2 equal to d minus t so in place of d1 plus d2 I am taking d minus t sigma by epsilon naught here d minus t plus t by k already we know that what is the sigma sigma is surface charge density q by a in place of sigma I am taking q by a means q by a epsilon naught of d minus t plus t by k this is us this is the formula to find capacitance of parallel plate capacitor which is filled with which is partially filled with dielectric like this okay thank you